So when all hope seems lost, when the pain won't stop, when things you never thought would happen do happen, you find a reason to keep going because you're a warrior. You don't run from pain, you embrace it. Pain is a part of life, but suffering is a choice and you choose to push through it. Please Lord, give me a sign, a sign. I want to be the greatest. Everybody on the face shit. I look around and feel like everybody is the fakest. I make this every day and I'm in pain. This world will test you to your very core. It'll knock you down and kick dirt in your face. And in these moments, the universe will be asking you one simple question. How bad? You really want it. How bad? You're going to lose all your money, all your friends, all the people you care about. And when that happens, do you still want it bad enough to keep getting back up and keep moving forward? If you can find your why for doing this and for sticking it out, in spite of all the pain, you can find a way to win. You've got to keep that belief alive. Your belief in why you're doing this. What is it that makes it worth it to you to keep standing up in the face of all these setbacks? If you can keep your belief alive, you can make it. That belief is what will keep you pushing forward. When you believe that there is a way, you will find a way. And if you can't find one, you will make one. Because a person who has a belief in themselves and what they're doing and knows without a shadow of doubt that they deserve what they're fighting for, they won't ever back down. No matter how rough it gets, no matter how many rejections they got to go through, no matter how many people come up against them, they will keep standing and keep showing up to the battle. You're going to have so many moments where you doubt yourself, where you think you can't go on. But I want you to remember, these rough times haven't come to stay. They've come to pass. Not getting what you want can be the most valuable experience of your life. You got to think of each problem as a gift, an opportunity for growth and learning. When you operate in chaos, when everything turns upside down for you, that's where true greatness is forged. These are the moments that define champions. These are the crucibles where the strongest versions of ourselves are shaped. I need you to have the courage to act outwardly on those visions you see inwardly. That dream that you have, that life you want to live. You got to hold on to that idea so tightly that no matter how dark things get around you, you never let it go. You keep it clear and in sight and in focus inside your mind. The path to success isn't easy. It's going to break you down to your absolute lowest. But the difficulty itself is what prepares you and propels you to higher levels of achievement. So when all hope seems lost, when the pain won't stop, when things you never thought would happen do happen, you find a reason to keep going because you're a warrior. You don't run from pain. You embrace it. Pain is a part of life, but suffering is a choice and you choose to push through it. Tough times never last, but tough people do. And you have to decide that you're going to be tough. How do you hang in there during the hard, difficult times? You must have faith. You've got to believe in yourself. You've got to believe in your abilities. You've got to believe in your vision, your dreams, your ideas unquestionably. When you have faith, that faith gives you patience. Patience that things will get better as you move forward over time. But you have to keep moving and keep plugging away. These lessons are the building blocks of your success. Each failure, each rejection is a step closer to your goal. They're not just stumbling blocks, they're stepping stones. They're a step in the staircase in order to go higher. When those terrible things happen to you, you're going to have that negative voice, that internal dialogue telling you you're not good enough. Don't allow that voice to take over you. Engage in a battle with that negative part of yourself. Shut it down and block it out. And block out any other voice that tells you you can't make it. Listen to that voice inside you that says it's possible. It's possible I can do this. I know I have what it takes. I know that where I am right now is not where I'm going to be for the rest of my life. I have so much more to give. I have the power to change everything for me. And I'm not going to stop until I get what I want. 
because I deserve it. I deserve a better life. And you can't kind of want that thing. You got to want it with every bit of your heart, every bit of your being. You got to be willing to pour every bit of your energy, effort, and focus into it in order to make it happen. It's going to push you harder than anything else ever has. Make a personal declaration to wage war against being average. You have full control over your mind and therefore your life. It's about taking conscious, determined efforts to reinvent your life and committing wholeheartedly to your goal. When you're committed, you don't care about the odds. You don't care about the facts. You care only about the possibilities for you and your dream. And you got to go into this knowing that it's not going to be a smooth journey. There's going to be sharp ridges you got to climb over. There's going to be betrayals and devastation constantly on the way. But if you really want it like you say you do, you'll do whatever the hell it takes to get through it. And if you do get through all the pain, all the trials, all the tears, all the long nights of worry, it will be so worth it. No matter what happens to you in life, nothing can stop you. The only thing that can stop you is you. What do you do when you have been telling yourself you can reach your goal and you lose it every day? What do you do when, you, when you've lost your spirit, you've lost your job, you lost everything, life's been devastating? Once you are defeated in your mind, ladies and gentlemen, it's all over. Your problem is your pain has identified you. Your pain has waking you. You have a choice how you respond to your pain. And some of you in this room, for real, I'm just gonna be honest with you, you're getting wimpy on me. You're getting soft on me. You are not the only person that's been through a divorce, boo. Get over it. You're not the first one, you won't be the last one. You can turn that divorce into something. You're not the first one to lose your promotion and get fired. You're not the first one. You're not the first one they let go of. You won't be the last one. The question is, what you gonna do about it? I know what it is to walk the floor and you don't know how you're gonna make it when people no longer believe in you and you are all you got. And you got to say to yourself, when you fail again and again, they tell you no, sometimes with tears in your eyes, it's possible. When life stagger you, the thing that'll get you up on your knees and get you standing in the center of the ring and find something from somewhere deep down in to keep on slugging and keep on fighting is, it's possible. It's possible if I just stand long enough, I can pull this off. When you're facing defeat, disappointment, seem like life has ripped you off and everybody say you can't do it. You don't have what it takes. All you need to affirm that in spite of this, it's possible that I can do it. So what makes ET different than everybody else? Every year I just kept going. And I kept going. And I kept going. And I kept saying one day gonna be my day. But you know what I'm not gonna do? I'm not gonna quit in the process. I'm not gonna give up. I'm not gonna give in. If you want your stuff, it's necessary you take responsibility for it. That you make it happen, that you don't give up, that you don't take any objection or disappointment or defeats personally, that you keep on keeping on, that you don't decide that I can't make it because you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel, that you realize that's a part of the program. The difference is not the genetic code, the potential. It's a guy that's willing to get knocked down, finally tell someone for you to stand back up. The perseverance to see it through, the never say die attitude. And I go in there, man, and if I don't when I showed up, I gave my valid effort. And tomorrow I'll do the same thing. And I'll continue to throw sh against the wall. Every day I'll, I'll throw more up there and try it again and try it again. And I'll never get comfortable. I don't feel rejected. I try. How do you feel rejected when you try? The person who didn't try should feel rejected. The person that didn't try should feel defeated. The person that didn't try should feel some type of way. I tried. I don't feel rejected. I feel good about myself. I tried. I don't feel bad. I gave it 120%. You can't never feel bad when you put forth 120%. You can't let the outcomes make you feel whack. I'm not whack. I'm a warrior. I'm not whack. You know how much I went through to make that thing happen? And I will not stop in the middle of the process. I will not be defeated. I will not be destroyed. I will take everything that happens in my life and I will allow the pain to push me to greatness. You will not break me. You will not stop me. The only way I lose is if I quit. 
and I've made up in my mind that I will get a reward for the pain that I go through. You can't defeat me. Download this video and audio by becoming a member at benlionelscott.com. Plus, get early access to all new content and hundreds of exclusive videos. I'm taking six shots, yeah, straight to the face. And I wanna get lost, now I'm sick of this place, don't know.